Well, we'll see if we can get the stick propped up like that. Get it maybe a downward angle. I don't know. Whatever. Close enough. They're not going to just get the seat. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe this will be better. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to try something like that. Or something like this. Bless the pump again. You can't even really see what's going on down here except what he's got going on. Uh, woo! Got a cam home for a little while before he's got to return to the Marines and he wanted to do a little um, competition on making something Halloween related because we got him for a week so we're gonna try to bust a couple things out real fast. And while I'm doing this live right here, for everybody to see, we're actually filming uh, this to be a YouTube video later on. So I just figured I'd jump on here real quick while I got him with me. And if you guys had questions, you could ask questions, whatever. But uh, yeah, we're, we're doing this little competition on who can whip up the coolest looking little Halloween thing in this short time period that he's home. And at the same time, videoing it from different angles, different cameras. We'll edit all that stuff out. And then later on, there'll be a good polished uh, vidya of what we did. So, you guys have any questions or just want to BS? I just thought I'd throw this up here and see if anybody wanted to hang out for a little bit. That's all. Well, nothing super special whatsoever. Is that a small enough hole? Yeah, that's pretty tight. I'm still going to use some, uh, glue. Yeah, some super glue to deal with it. I'm trying to figure out how to make this like, I, I just wanted to get the general eyes down, but then I want to figure out a way to make it look like it's actually ripped. I didn't rip it, it doesn't look too weird. Like you want you, you want the single where it's gonna come in half, like it's tearing in half? Or what? Kind of yeah, you know, it's like it's kind of ripping it back. Like it's ripping the face apart or whatever. Yeah. So basically what I would do is I just want to break in while it's consuming it. Yeah, for me I would I would here I am giving you advice on something that's supposed to be competition. I would carve your, I'd like draw your whole face out and carve your face, right? And then, and then I would yeah. decide where you want to cut it and rip it before it be coming in half and then do that stuff after you carve your face, right? And then you can just cut into it and do whatever. And you just keep yep. And That's how I would approach yeah, that. Except there's always paper mache. Yes, and you screw it up when you can always paper mache and get it back. Oh, I just missed a comment. And if I miss a comment, guys, um, I apologize. Let me see if I can pull this back up where I can see everything. Oh. Right on. Get that cotton ball pumpkin done, man. Listen what? That has what's going on? Stop capture. Start. I don't. We're gonna have to play with that. That might be. That might not. I don't know how good that uh, content will be in there on that one. Also, I'm not, I'm not used to the uh, high text messages no more. What? No, 
I used to want. You put the film on the camera. Or so I know how to make sure I'm getting proper angles. No, you're de they're definitely not seeing what you're doing there, but that's okay. I'll edit all that later. <laughs> I can't see chat. I want to see chat come up all the time. Are you going to do it on your phone? Oh, I screwed that up. Can I twist this? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. That wasn't completely in yet. It's hard to work and leave at the same time. Right, no, but if you hear me, just leave that, just hear me that thing, and I'll sit over here where I can see. What is going on? Loopton, hey, what's up, man? Yes, it is. It's hard to work and read. That's what I was, that's what I was telling you. At the same time, for sure. It's weird. Yeah, it's all weird. There's a huge lag on that from where we're at. That's weird. All right. Oh, that's not what's going to off to you when I say it's hard to... Uh, oh. I couldn't tell what you were... I thought you were just saying that. So, but I don't know if you got on here at the beginning uh, when I was talking about this, but this is Cam. Um, my boy who was in the Marines that we were talking about. We ran down to San Diego and got last week. I got him home for a short amount of time. He wanted to do a little... He wanted to make a YouTube video with me before he left. He wanted to turn it into a competition on who could make the coolest little Halloween thing. So we set up our parameters and what materials we're using, that type of stuff, how big it can be. That way we can try to get it done. We can get done in this time that he's home. Um, because the time frame could be a problem. So anyway, uh, and I'm filming this as a YouTube video all at the same time. So we got other cameras running that I have to come back in later and edit all this stuff out. I just jumped on here and thought maybe there might be some of you out there that just want to watch us act a fool trying to do this. Maybe the toughest challenge for me is going to be Right. Why? I don't need your help. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to give any help. I plan on winning this. Do I have all my knives down here? Of course I don't have one of my knives down here. Why would I have a knife down here? So I could cut into something. That would be the smart thing to do. I was almost prepared, but not quite prepared. Well, we got five watching. What's up? Four watching. There are people in and out, in and out. Uh, these guys are boring. Well, got got one permanent watcher. It's us. <clears throat> That's right. We'll have at least one view the whole time, and it'll be your phone. Hey, look! I found a little bitty. I found a little bitty pocket knife. Let's see if this works. Uh -huh. So you sent that one before the top side, right? 
Do what? Yeah, so before you did all that stuff on the first one I did, you haven't glued it in, right? No. So. I'm messing with the I'm messing with the seat. I need to cut it down or not. I had it all straight. And then I poked it in through the bottom, pushed it all the way through the top. And then that way, this was on the bottom of my deal. And then once this got up and I jammed it to the bottom of the pumpkin, then there was just wire hanging out here. And then I bent it all around to do what I wanted to do. Let's do that before you even carved it. Yeah. That was like the first thing I did was uh, that the only reason I didn't do it this step on this one is because I wasn't planning on taking it through the bottom like that. This is my this is my boy who Carrie and I were talking about earlier that joined the Marines. Uh, we got him home now for a little while, and he wanted to do a YouTube video. He wanted to do a competition with me and make a YouTube video out of it about who could make the coolest Halloween prop. And turn it into a and turn it into a YouTube video. So that is what we are doing. We're actually filming with other cameras at the same time, and I just kind of threw this on here to see if anybody wanted to watch us. You know, try to figure out what we're doing. We don't have any idea of what we're doing. If that makes any sense. I did all this. I told you before. Well, I didn't quite understand it. I just went through. Before you even started, I told you how I did that on the last one. I thought I was pretty good at explaining to you. So what you're Woo! saying is what it is. I'm, what I'm saying is you didn't pay attention. What you're saying is it was and Bree said hi. Cam. Hi. She needed to say. Can you be louder? Say to that that deal there. Harder. What? Okay, it's shut it through the bottom. And you had this straight. Yeah, so it this was. Got it, had it caught. I took this. Where's the. Yeah, it was. So I took this and I straightened this all out. Gosh dang it. I had two pairs of pliers when I did this and made it much easier to uh, just one pair to die. Yeah. So I had straightened all this crap out before. Yeah. Then you just shoved it up. Yeah, and then I just went and this foam may be different than my other foam. I think she will find where, where I had it stem come out. Should be able to. And that's how I jammed it through there. Alright, so? Yep, yeah, just like that. Ah, oh, there you go. Right on. She's watching on the sneak at work. <laughs> Don't get fired.
And then I've been shaking. Well, I guarantee you that I've been so far off on this camera over here for YouTube it's design funny. It's going to be a nightmare to edit this footage into something. I just messed up all my super glue down here. Let's see if I can get this uh, easy take. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be a mess. Mm -hmm. Like even right now, I'm thinking I'm gonna shut this one camera down for a little bit, so I kind of got that. And then because I need I need to let this dry a little bit before I start wrapping anything to make the base of it. Right. So let's shut this one off for a little while, a little bit there, and we'll move on here in a bit. Ooh, that's gonna fall, don't fall. Still five people working. I should put some water in there. <laughs> yeah, it looks easy, huh? Yeah. Why did you, why did you get that armor shirt out? This wire? Because I'm going to do like, if you want to, because I didn't know, because you're talking about having something tearing your thing apart. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know if you were going to do finger tip type things off your vine that was digging into it or whatever. And this armature wire can allow you to, it's really weak, but it can allow you to kind of make some of that stuff. And this guy's going to have little legs and things, a couple little arms sprouting out, a couple little legs. I'm going to try to mimic what that uh, stem is and have a couple little legs and, you know, that and uh, do his, yeah, I should have carved it out. Oh, well. Carve his face out and stuff and everything. So it kind of like it looks like a sprouting a little pumpkin demon right. type of thing. You know. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the idea. Having a A weak, time, a weak time frame on this makes this seem pretty tough to make it as cool as I want it to be. Well, it's not just a weak time frame, it's a 9, nine to 3 o'clock time frame. <laughs> I want to angle the hours like this. I almost like, I guess if you were trying to duck your head. Right. Do what? I doubt that. I'm not lying. Oh, that was loud. Wow. See, that's why I need to buy roller chairs so I'm done yet.
I guess it becomes like this and it's mm -hmm. out. It's not that good. You might have to push back a little bit more. So I can bend this kind of tire. Well, not, not that it had been a tire. That once you start doing this, you add weight here. You're past your base base here a little bit. So it's going to lean forward. Yeah, so it's going to want to pull forward. Yeah, man, it is like flipping this this armature wire is actually too thin. I need something bigger, but this you can twist that up real quick. And make a stouter wire. You guys can't see it down here, but there's a I got a nail nail into my board down here that's bent up and I'm just looping it around that. Sticking it on my drill and then twisting it up to make a stiffer wire. saving these as we're doing them. Hopefully. No kidding or I've lost a lot of footage. Well, I was just gonna say, I want to keep it a little bit ground. Right. Hold that wire. Hold that wire. I just wanted this little far enough back to where it was enough. Yeah, that looks space. like right there would hang. Yeah, I, I jam some super glue in there. And if it doesn't seem like you can jam some in, if it doesn't seem like it wants to keep them, we can go grab some uh, plumber strap and wrap it around it and then screw it into the wood. Because that's what I want to have to do on the other one to really get it to come and stay in place. Ah, gosh dang it. Some more super glue over here too. Hmm? This is empty. Pretty much. Here we go. Seven people on. No one talking. Hmm? Hmm? You've got super glue in it? Yeah. 
What in the heck, man? I don't have any pressure on that, and it's just squirting all the way out. Yeah. It's like I saw all the comic camera works all deal out. It was probably on Facebook or whatever, but I'm talking about super glue back in the day. There was only one type of super glue in it. Freaking. Um, it glued it. It glued everything and everything into anything, uh -huh. you know, all the time. And if it took seconds, I mean, literally, seconds. less than seconds to set up. Oh, and if you got it on your finger and it, you it, you glued your hand to whatever the hell you were doing, how <laughs> much chemicals in there that are probably legal now? Can't you? I know and it sucks. It's not. not and that's where the term super glue, because it. I mean, it would. It would just bond now and. They don't make it like that anymore. It sucks. You gotta stand around and hold it in place. Hold it forever and just wait for it to dry. Yeah, that's stiffened up. Wait, I'm not gonna do more. Let's go ahead. Can you stop your yeah, stop your recording there and we'll wait for that to dry up on you before I start doing more crazy stuff so it doesn't knock that. Okay. Loose on you. It's so crazy. I'm not gonna try to sabotage your way. Yeah, the lag's really far behind. Oh, we had a question that popped up. Ha! <laughs> right. So Lupin, Lupin said that super glue usually glued me to everything, but fought me on gluing two things together. <laughs> no. I'll give yours a little, still a little bit more time to make sure it's with my charm of this. Yeah, I'm trying to more glue. Now, how do you think we can have enough down there? Your super glue? Yeah. I put it in the, I put it inside there. So did I put it inside there too. I mean, I if you want, we can outside. fire up the hot glue gun too, and you can do a massive hot glue all around this bottom side too. Yeah, It'll help out. You know, just for some extra, let that dry up for you to start wrapping it with newspaper or whatever. Because I assume you're going to wrap it with newspaper to make it look like a vine. No, I just, it's going to leave this I don't know, I good flat piece of armature here. Where is my hot glue gun? That's here. I'm with a bunch of extra cotton balls in there. Really ain't left to show from there. Oh, this yeah. is a thing too. Huh? We had two, uh, we had the Kaijin towels. We had to glue our name tags on it. But you had to have, like, a certain side facing the front of the house. Right. But it's like, we got finished doing I had to come in and finish it. And the kids were doing it the wrong way. The whole entire time, so I go back through and we get all the our name tags and all these towels and remove them all. Then they moved where people were like two days later, so we had to go back through and we do it again. I said, I don't know why I just stopped. <laughs> 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 I mean, someone else can take this over. There's a uh, red extension cord right underneath your feet. Careful, it's also underneath that tripod. I see why you need more chips. Mm hmm. Oh. A little bit, I think it'll be okay. Nine people. Is anybody talking? Who's lurking? I know Bree's here. I know Lupin's here. I don't know who else is here. Or if you guys even know what's going on. Or if you're just going to sit around and watch us do nonsense. That ain't high yet. It was fine. Oh, is that plugged in? Yes, it is. It is actually the way. I thought it was fine yesterday when we had it. Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's you, Dad. 
Bad Santa. Yeah. <laughs> How long do I want to make these legs? Sticking out of here. I'm just kind of like a baby. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of like a little baby. A little baby one coming out of there. It's just going to be like, Bleh. I'm going to go use the restroom now. I'm going to make another cup of coffee. Okay. Pot of coffee. You're making another pot of coffee? Yeah, I think so. We're going to have coffee. I'm going to get some water too. Yeah, grab me some water. Call this and sit at it. What, where the dice go? Okay. Oh, I put them up. That's so funny. Boy. I put stuff up so that I wouldn't lose it and then I'm losing it because I put not, it up. Not to offend anybody, but there's a few of those at boot camp. I'm pretty sure dikes. <laughs> that's no, that's one we always heard, like, if they would, because they would always say something sexual in the term so we would understand it. Oh, um, right. In a way. And it would always be like, to not offend anybody here. But bit, but you know, say something. Something stupid. Launchy. I won't say. Yeah, no don't word. don't be saying what they said on. Yeah, I I know. At boot camp on YouTube, you'll get this truck down so fast it'll make your head spin. Get your whole platform kicked off in a matter of seconds. Yes. Launchy. I'll get your whole business gone in like two seconds if I say anything like that. I forgot what I said. I'll tell you about it later. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. So my little dude that I'm working on here for this competition is going to be a um, it's going to be like a baby pumpkin demon, right? So I made it one pumpkin demon, and now I'm going to make it look like this is a small one that's coming off a sprout right before it's getting ready to fall off onto the ground. Yeah, yeah, you're exactly right. Repeating something that says boot camp is a fast track to demonetization, for sure. Okay, let's see. I want to let's get the camera. Let's do a little bit of this. I don't have to say this has been the toughest one I've done. I mean, I'm so I'm super super stoked that he wanted to do this, but then to actually kind of get this stuff filmed and doing this and trying to do some of this live to set this up for a YouTube video. Is actually kind of tough. I still need this, like, shooting from behind me. All right. Let's get these little... Planted up in here.
that's more. Uh, I think that's close enough for that one. Rule set for this competition? Yeah, basically it's just a materials rule between the two of us. So, we had, and to make this thing go faster since we only got, basically I've got a week, one thing that we got to try to get this whole thing completed. Where his is done, mine's done, they're dried, they're painted, you know, the whole nine yards. So I ran to Michael's and grabbed these pumpkins that were already made to speed the process up. So the basic rules are we have these materials to use, which was these pumpkins, um, the shepherd's hooks, this thin armature wire, the wood for the bases, right? And then um, standard mache stuff. So... Uh, paper towels, newspaper, mache paste, that type of stuff. Uh, even if we want to whip up some um, egg carton clay or something real quick. Those were the rules, basically. And the, it doesn't seem like... When I start saying we can use paper mache stuff, it doesn't seem like that limits you at all. You can make whatever you want with it. So the rules were that, and it had to be, you know... Three foot tall or smaller so that we could get it all done. Um, yeah. Pumpkins, that's shepherd wire, this wire, the bases, and then standard paper mache stuff. Strip mache and or um, using uh, paper towels. That's the limits. That's the deal. We got our time frame for a week. Or whatever to get done and that's basically it whoever makes the coolest thing uh, wins and I don't know what we're gonna win right but at the end of the video when I have this all set up and done um, for actually put on YouTube and stuff the viewers are going to comment in the comments below to tell us which one they thought was the coolest um, the coolest creation so anyway yeah that's uh just wanted to have some fun he wanted to have some fun he's always um uh, been happy about my youtube stuff because i've for years trying to make it become something that uh basically turn it into a business and then he's seen some growth on it over the past few weeks and stuff so since he was home he was stoked and he was like hey I'm home you took off work your standard work he's like let's make some let's make a video together and have some fun with it and it'll be content for the channel and so here we are and that's exactly what we're doing I never, oh my gosh, I didn't start the video on that. That's rough. Hang on. All right, so here, look at this. I'm trying to film all this. We've got all this stuff going on, and I'm doing so many things at once right now that I forgot to turn this back on so you can see what was going on. So basically, on my little guy right here, I uh, put some armature wire together, and then... Just poke holes, just poke these up in the bottom and poke these into the top for the little arms and the legs to come down. Um, mine's going to be like a little pumpkin demon, you know, the pumpkin demon I made before. So this is going to be like a little, this is how I came up out of the ground, boom, becomes what he is. I'm basically, though, going to try to match the arms and legs here. They're not going to be fully developed or whatever, but they're going to be kind of look like these stems coming off on here. We'll carve a face into it. But that's where we are so far. Uh... Cam's over here, as you can see, is lacking way behind in anything kind of cool. It's a pumpkin on a stick. So, yeah.
There's that. God, I'm a no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny. That reminds me of like um little cartoons where like an evil like no would just pop out. <laughs> pop up out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's gonna be a cool look. I was getting water. I just started in a bar coffee. I thought you were your broken coffee pot? No, I just thought you two. This one that was open. Oh, I'll, I'll drink it. Drink. There's more water in here too. I'm mean, gonna spend time thinking about I actually want this to look more and less. Now my, right. dog, now my dog's been in uh, upstairs. Can you hear him? Yeah, he's up. You can hear him. Smack. Hear that? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. So that's what makes it rough sometimes when everybody's gone and maybe your dog gets all Probably. spaced out and I'm trying to make videos for YouTube. Mm -hmm. He'll be right here above this and you just hear boom, 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 boom. I'm like, great. That's cool. Is your Oh, yeah, dude, it's ready to go. I can hear it before. Let's see, Lupin. <laughs> I'm slacking. Yeah, bragging rights. For sure. Do I need to put this camera back on over here? Um, not necessarily. Just to glue up that. I don't understand why that computer keeps going to sleep so fast. But. Hmm? Oh, dude, what are you doing? You don't have to shove it all the way in. No. <laughs> I was trying to get in my rubber piece, man. You, all you had to do was set it in the rubber piece a little bit, and then this takes over. Oh. And then, then just, you just... So basically, you were just pushing glue out the end of that. That's so funny. I'm glad you, you know the live camera cut that. Yeah. that no, that would have been great if we cut on the, all the other cameras. I didn't camera, your camera cut it, too. No, it's not on. on. So, you know, that's, uh, I don't know, maybe we should admit this or not, but I do all this stuff and have done all this stuff forever, using glue guns and everything else, and <sighs> he's over here loading the glue in and just keeps pushing it into the gun and just squirting it out the top. Waiting for it to load up. I figured that it'd be like all the other glue guys. Because I was just trying to get him another piece. There was another piece of glue in there. I really wasn't. I was empty. Okay, I'm going to draw onto this. And I don't think I need a camera on because they're not going to see me draw on it anyways. Do what? I'm going to draw on this. But I don't think I need that long because they're not going to see me draw on it. No, they don't. But, well, so oh, you go ahead and draw your face out on or whatever. Then whenever you get to carve it out or something, we can try to move that camera around like behind or whatever. See if I can get it staged up behind you, and I won't work on mine. Where I'll just <clears throat> try to capture some of that footage. Hey, well, what I'm thinking now is like you know how to stand, like have it get pulled back. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about how an actual pumpkin is, where it has a juice, you know, like a pumpkin guts. Thick, yeah, yeah, the guts stuff like. Where it w I don't think it would really break the pumpkin. I think it would more or less just, as you're pouring it, it would just kind of compress it inwards. Or do you think it, it would rip, like, break the pumpkin? So, I don't know. In my head, when you first told me that you were going to make this vine, tearing the pumpkin apart and bring it back down into the ground, mm -hmm. right? I envisioned the vine was coming up, and then you had this pumpkin there, and then you would probably have, like, this vine coming up like this, and then vine kind of going to each side of the pumpkin, and then like these fingers coming into the front of it, and then actually physically tearing it apart like this. Wait, I was gonna have so I want the center to kind of be torn apart. So in my head, what I had envisioned the whole thing, and it doesn't matter, you know. So when you told me that, what I saw in my head, vine basically comes straight out of the ground, vine wrapping around the sides, viney fingers coming in. You had a face already carved into it. And then it's ripping it apart, and then you cut the whole pumpkin in half like it's literally ripping it open. Right. That's what went through my head when you told me about it. Right. Right. To do that, I have to pull this you out. had to pull that back out, pop that thing off the bottom of it, and rearrange everything you had going on well, so you cut that pumpkin in half. Now I'm thinking more of kind of pulling it like just ripping the head, just the head. Like, we're leaving the mouth here. 
Right. Now I can kind of cut the mouth down a little bit, you know, kind of pull it down. So you know, I have this time here. Because you could always, you could always like, okay, you got your stem here, or whatever, and your so your idea is like this vine is ripping. Because at first I was thinking about doing like that, like, or like a rib cage, pretty much, mm -hmm. you know, like ripping it apart. Now I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. So then I decided, well, if time could restraints, constraints, whatever the word is, kind of come up like this. Now I have like a hand, kind of like this. I do like, so I mean, yeah, you could do, you could do the vine. You can have a couple of vine fingers come down, like poked into the eyes yeah, or whatever and stuff. And, and then if you had your mouth, and then around through the mouth cut open, you could you, here, you could have it like that, like that's. And then you could always take small armature wire coming off of here, it's like it's exactly. like it's yeah, like there's sprouts coming off of here, and with another little hand that comes here and grabs this side of the mouth, and another one's coming off, like. It's just, it's just ripping it's itself apart. apart. Yeah, I mean, you can do that. I'm just trying. Yeah, it's yeah. whatever you want to do. This is your creative design. No, I'm just bouncing ideas off you, so I can still know your idea right. that I come up with. I See, I got this in the bag. In the bag. Just, just wait. Someone else was like, "Wow, rib cage!" I'm like, "Good luck getting that done in time." <laughs> rib cage isn't happening. We've only got like. A week, not even really a week to get these things completely completed. So, yeah, and I'm almost done. Look at that. I think I can stop right there. So, be what you got going on. Oh, I got a biggest off here. You got nothing. You just got two little arms. I need a cartoon. cartoon. He looks pretty hot. He looks pretty cartoony. Oh, At the moment. And then, oh, I was going to tell you too, we're going to have to get some sandpaper because we plan on getting any mache to stick to this, this surface. A, you know, mache, uh, yeah, because that's a pretty slick yeah. surface. We're going to have to sand that to get stuff to stick. I know this is kind of pretty slick when I was able to get my, now I have my finger wet and get rid of the pen. in the spot and then I want to start bulking the legs out I mean the or my uh, armature out here pretty soon because basically once I do once I wrap that together it's just making the vine come up and attach to the back of him and then I want to do some uh, newspaper stuff over this wire and maybe make some a few little and this is going to pop out like easy, fast. This thing is. This would pop out easy, fast if I did this <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I may be like having to stop and just film you. I'll get it. Yoko, no, I don't typically go live at this time. I'm sorry. We're just... <clears throat> Cam was... Uh, he's in the Marines, and he just he just graduated boot camp. I got him home. Um, I've got a week with him, basically, so I took off work. And he wanted to make a video with me doing stuff, so we were actually filming a YouTube video while we were doing this live stuff. And since we were down here just doing this, and it's just kind of the middle of the day, I said, well, let's... I asked him if he wanted to go live and just see if there were people that wanted to kind of watch us be dorks while we're actually filming, you know, before I cut it and make it all polished and stuff. So he just jumped on here for today just to go live just to see. So this isn't normal time. I've been trying to do live stuff like on Saturdays and things like that. So anyway, nope, nope, just completely out of the box. I didn't announce it, didn't do anything. We just hit live and went just to see what's going on. They can have three days of live videos coming today. Do what? They can have three days of live stream coming today. Yes. Mom despises that cat. Dude, that's why I, I kind of realized it's so short it's going to be. We can, my We've got a lot of work ahead of us to get this done before you guys go. Yeah. Well, then you're home still next week, too. I'll have, I'll have next week. You so we can work on it in the evenings or whatever yeah. as well. So. 
Because when I called Cook a minute ago, and he was like, yeah, he's like, they get it done. He's like, you need to get someone in this office, because I'll give you the day off the next day. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> he's like, you can come in and sit there and close, it doesn't matter. So are you sure? Yeah, he's like, I don't care. Because I'll pick you up, too. Like, okay, I'm like, you're going to have to pick me up, because I, I know the way to get there. <laughs> Well, if you knew you could be home by 2 o'clock or 2.30, it wouldn't be a big deal. I can ask him that. Like, hey, well, we'll, like, I'll see what he wants to do. I'll just be relaxed with most of that stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna have the mason egg carton clay just to shove back down inside this crevice that I had to make. The crack? Yep. So I mean, right now we'd be going to we to go to the job now. Maybe it'd just be eight o'clock right now for us. Yeah, it'll still be morning for you guys. Oh, that's on there. Yeah, that's pretty solid now. It's on there, it's a solid base. I didn't move it out of this. So. I think I'm going to go ahead and bulk my guy out before I draw the face and carve it out. I'm more worried about my helmet faces and clay than the rest of the stuff. <laughs> I haven't even come up with an idea on how my face is going to be just yet. I feel like most of mine resolves around the face. Right. Because it's getting the face ripped apart and stuff like that. Well, just like whatever, if the face is getting ripped apart, like you said, make it, carve it out, and then we'll cut it up. Yeah. Right? Pull apart. Or you'll do that. Why am I saying we'll do that? Why am I giving you advice to help me along? That's what you do. You're a dad still. This was a competition you wanted to do. Vidya. This is like. Give me Vidya. This is like. Um, Time lapse. Sword of Dudes, okay? Right. We're having competitions, and you're the expert here. I'm the I'm chef. The new, yeah, you're a chef, and I'm the home cook. Not even really a home cook. A completely inexperienced home cook. You're a pretty good home cook. The French toast was good this morning. You what? The French toast was pretty good this morning. Yes, that French toast was good this morning. It was a bread and bread hotel, too. I'll leave these out here in case you need to use them. I've got to find the newspaper. And so I haven't started time lapse yet. Okay, cool. Oh, there's not much room for two people in here. What's up, kitty? What are you doing? I need to find some bulking stuff. Some bulking paper. I know I've got it. Oh, yeah, there's a whole bunch right back there. I knew I brought some in here a while back. Yes. Hey, Bob, what's up? Uh, 
So I'm making. Hang on. Where did Becky go? So this is kind of. It's kind of along the lines of that last thing I did, but anyway. So for reference for you, the pumpkin demon that I made not too long ago. Um. In my head, this is the idea of how they come to life, right? So it's going to be a vine, and it's going to be a little dude sprouting off of it. That's basically a baby pumpkin demon that would, like, drop off the vine once it was ripe or ready to go. So that's the idea. Uh, but really why I'm even doing this is because Cam's home. I got him home from, he just graduated Marine Corps. And he wanted to do, since I got a short amount of time, I took off work this week again too. And he he wanted to do a YouTube video with me and he wanted to make it like a competition type of thing. So um, that's what we're doing. We're small little projects that we can get done, hopefully in the time that he's home, all the way to being painted. We're also filming on a couple of other deals over here for the YouTube video. For the video uh basically once we all get done we had a set parameter of the materials we could use and then when it's all finished out and i put it on youtube um everybody in the comments will decide who the winner was so he uh he got a little cocky saying that we need to make this a competition um And he's going don't, against, you know, don't doubt your competition, man. The master of Halloween. Too much confidence can lead to a bad thing. We learned that very quickly. It and could. A lot of you mess up on hot stuff, you get too cocky. Yeah, that's what he's Yes, so this battle was all Cam's idea, and that's that is honest truth. It's, it was not my idea at all. Right? I should, yeah, I should have drawn a, I should have uh, drew the pumpkin out last night. I can't even think about how to draw them out. <laughs> well, why don't you, since you were not recording anything right now on that, why don't you pull that up on the internet and do look at pumpkin faces just shorten that down at the top up there got the next one over that line no right no that one right there and then go over there and double click on google chrome top and then pick pick the one with the pumpkin face and now google it and just google freaking Oh my gosh, here come all the notifications since it hasn't been on forever. And now just, once you get on Google, freaking Google pumpkin faces. And then, pick one. Oh, thanks, Joey. Yeah, 
I uh, I watch on TV a lot too, but I figured out, and I don't know if it's just my phone or I don't know because I like uh, I bought into YouTube Premium a while back, like a month or so ago. But now I've noticed, like if I'm watching on my TV through like the PlayStation or something, if I pick up my phone and I've got a YouTube app on my phone. So like if I'm watching on TV and then I pick up my phone and my app comes up, my app recognizes the fact that, and I don't know how it does it, um, it recognizes the fact that I'm watching YouTube through the PlayStation and it sends me this alert and says, hey, you're watching on TV, do you want to sync the phone with it? And then, so now like I can watch on my big TV and sync my phone to it, and then if someone's having a chat or whatever, I can chat right on my phone, or I can um, make comments and stuff on my phone, and still be able to watch on the big screen TV. Do you realize how it works, right? Which is pretty fun, pretty cool. Hmm? You realize because how that works, right? Probably just through YouTube. Yeah, because it's going through YouTube, because it's going through like that. Yeah, it's never a device logged in and working or running right now. Yep. Unless I pull your trying to this device. So you know, it's going to use those options. This is how it is. No. Okay, so Bob, no, the pumpkins are not cotton balls. So this is what... I cheated this whole thing because we got a very, very short time frame. So yesterday we rustled up materials. So yesterday I went to Michael's. I found these at Michael's. They were on, they were like $12 for these old pumpkins. They were on sale. So I got both of them for 14 bucks. So I bought pre-made pumpkins. Um, we got our shepherd's hooks or whatever they're called and this wire and stuff here. Um, I needed to be able to speed up the process because I didn't have... Oh, sorry things made uh, to get us through this and we've got a, a short amount of time while he's home so some pre-made we're going to mix it with a little bit of uh homemade and see who can make the coolest thing that's how it's going to work oh man i keep forgetting to turn this on so i'm, I'm forgetting this too i'm trying to we're filming for YouTube at the same time, and I keep forgetting to. Turn my other cameras on. Yeah, that's what he was saying too. And he was like, "Man, I just got in trouble all the time." But he was—he what well, he was also saying is like, he goes, "It's not that no one else was doing anything." He's like, "I just couldn't." I, he's like, "I got caught every single time." Yeah, that's cool. once you get caught a few times, they you after that. They're always watching. You.
see you got your face drawn on there. Yeah. You want them to cut it out? I don't want them cut out yet. Or if I want to do the No! Easy! Uh-oh. Can you walk it down there? Uh-oh. See, I don't know if I just cut it out first or do what you're doing and then cut it off the back. Oh, bulking it out first. It doesn't really matter, but I totally know. I should have. Oh yeah, I so lost that. Oh yeah, I'm for sure. Yeah. It came loose on me pretty bad. We don't need to film that part. No, no. Mm -mm. You gotta feel that stuff so people understand what's going on. Yeah, we got two different strategies. One is I know what I'm doing and Cam doesn't. <laughs> no, he's uh <laughs> he was working on doing his face because his pumpkin is gonna be his face, the face is gonna be kind of four part. And rip apart and all that stuff. Mine is completely different than what he's doing. So he was kind of trying to get his face out of the way. He thought about was debating going ahead and carving the face out, but he's going to go ahead and bulk his vine out too. I have to wait till that dries. I can't do anything. My furniture's everywhere. You caught glue. Yeah, to start it so it wouldn't uh, go anywhere. Probably need to do this just to make sure you don't wind up with the same problem I have. so much. John Stuckers to choose these. It was every single squad leader and guy went. It was like four extra kids who go. And it was like four uh, extra kids who were supposed to be ones who were struggling and whatnot and being there. Right. And then, like, but one of the extra kids that was supposed to go, he had medical that day. So then I was walking past with duty hunt and he's like, oh, so like, no go. And then there's like, we want the first sergeant come. Mm -hmm. And it was like, we went and you ate chow from the Marines. So I got to go on the other side before anyone else did where mm -hmm. we were. They had a Marine chow hall over there. And we ate chow there. And then he, so I actually had a toilet base before anyone else did. And it was, all this stuff was supposed to make it inspirational. Like, oh, it's going to be something. Right. All it did was make you miss being home more. <laughs> <laughs> Not having more liberty. That's <laughs> right. all it did. It never helped. We had to do another thing with it, too. 
And none of it ever helped. It was like, it just made you want to miss home more. Yeah, it made you miss home more. Because, because then, like, the same time we did it, it was worse, because then we ended up watching some other platoon do the moto run. Uh-huh. We were only in, like, week five. And I was like, man, I just want to be there. <laughs> right. We saw families and people and stuff cheering for families. Like, this just makes it worse. I ain't better. That's funny. But yeah. you made it through it, dude. And you're there. Because you forget at times that, um, what you, about what you were missing. But being like, when that stuff was just bring back all the stuff you missed. Right. I was like, I don't want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to go back to the house. You can pull some up from the bottom. Yeah, that's what I was that Pull some up like this. And like so if you're going to pull some up like that before you bulk that out and stuff, then I would be, I would take your armature wire and find out what you're going to do with it. You're going to try to screw it in, you know, to the base and kind of come up with your, you know, where you kind of bring it up so it looks like it's part of the vine. Yeah. And then, you know, shaping it throughout to the, like I could do all that structure mm-hmm. first and underneath. Right. And make sure it's kind of. See, it doesn't even have to be to the pub. You can just bring it out where you got wire here and here where it's like sticking out, kind of right? So you've got it. And then I would bulk all your stuff. And then you work on cutting the mouth and stuff out and get all that stuff done. And then do the big cut separation or however it is, whether it's, you know, it's ripping apart at the mouth, however it's doing it. Do that kind of cut. And then making the little. Parts of these where you use your fingers and stuff that are going into it, you know, and here and here that are pulling apart. Do you get you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you might even take. Uh, when I did my plant um, and I ran, because I don't have any zip ties down here. So, like, if you drilled that with a smaller nail and stuck it in and you had it, you know, going around that, then I was taking wire or two and it tight. Yeah, pull them together and then use some pliers and tightening it up and cutting off the excess to keep it tight to it. Yeah. So that it didn't go anywhere. Okay. I think I've got that back under control now. Looks like it's dry now. Some problems at the moment. See what I said? All that trash talking, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna reset that.
Dang it! Dang it! That's what I get for being so mouthy. Yes, it will. Yes. I got the super glue. I've got oh, I've got some strap right here. Some people are still maintaining. Yep. That's blown me away every time we've done it. What happened to all these like just squirt out? Did you think that this thing? Well, a lot of it came out. I don't know if all of it came out. Is it spinning inside there? Yeah, it's spinning inside the inside here. So see, just once I got mache on it or something, it would the that mache from the solid. It would, yes, but I've got to get it to quit doing that before you push. I get to that stage. Yeah. Um, I need it to. I need it to play nice. What a piece of wire you had on there. I cut it off a little bit. I was like, you can't have a piece of wire on there to kind of use that to help anchor it by strapping it down with a plumber strap. I had three pieces of wire on there to help anchor it, not how you had these three. If you have them anchored tight. Yeah, but I, I, I couldn't, it wasn't, it didn't what? wrap to it tight like I wanted it to. No, right. I just wrap it tight by hand. Well, I don't know if I can get it tight enough. It's a problem. That's the problem. Well, because you're, well, I know you, you didn't, you couldn't get it tight enough. Like, well, I need it to do this. That, right? Quit moving. Yeah, but see the hot the hot glue bust loose on me too, so I'm gonna try this real quick.
We got one comment that said, I think we're all multitasking at work. Yeah. Yeah, no one said sorry to but... I don't know if I know how to respond to that. You need to be sorry because you're not late. Yeah, you're not late. We haven't planned anything out. At all. Okay. Hey, hold this right here again real quick. See how it seems to go loose? Yeah. Yeah. And I it's gotta make sure I don't break this. Break, yeah, because yeah. this is real weak. Oh, I think I just tried to break part of it. Where's that? Where's the wood? Super glue that. Right yeah, I definitely broke it. Yeah. Woo! Set again. Let's see what happens. What did I do? What did you do with the lid of this thing? <laughs> well, yeah, we do roast each other quite a bit at the same time. We're trying to. It, we get carried away when we do that, and. Uh, uh, this needs to stay YouTube printed. You see, I've been doing really good right now. Compared to how my language has been the past few days. Yes. I learned London where it's not the right place <laughs> to use. Where is hard. the impact? That's the behind me. Behind me. Yeah. Ah. Dude, how do you have flies I don't know. I noticed that too. That we came home and there's flies. I don't understand where the flies came from or why we have them because we didn't have flies all over the house when we left to go pick you up. The curve on this vine or his vine? Because the curve's pretty close to the same, I think, on both of them. Let's see if I can get this. That might help that from... Oh, that might keep that from twisting now. Maybe we're going to get lucky. Touch it until that super glue sets up, though. Because I just know when it's patience. Tear it loose again. Yeah, but I was already rocking on my vine, man. I was ready to. Do you want those blue pliers? You got them? Yeah, man. Patience is a virtue. See, we, there's a lot of times we'd be rock and rolling on something, and then you get halted, and then you couldn't do it for like 30 minutes. both wires and then just twist. No, 
I was thinking was using that like Thousand Island dressing that we got from the Raisin Cane's Raisin Cane's dressing. dressing. And heat up some of our baked beef and the chicken and making salads for the Wisconsin and the No, yeah, we probably food. need to pass on that. Oh. Yeah. Make them talk themselves again. Mm -hmm. It's probably not a bad idea. It's 11 o'clock. We'll probably go make some lunch while this sets up. And that sets up. I know I'm hungry. Two. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. All right. Okay, so I know this hasn't been super exciting. Um, I've got to wait for some glue to dry up before I can get going on. Uh, any further what pliers am I using these are these are speed wrench just an old pair oh woo! you guys almost went away it's an old pair that I've had uh, around for a long time so they've got side cutters on them and you can grip and twist pretty good too anywho so doo -doo. I gotta wait for some glue to dry because this thing's wanting to come apart all that good stuff uh, because I screwed up earlier. So we're going to go catch some lunch. He's getting hungry. Uh, ever since he came home, he eats like a freight train. Uh, way more than he did before he left to go to boot camp. So I'm going to shut this down for now. And we're going to go eat lunch. If you guys want me to turn this back on later on today, let me know in the comments. I'll watch the comments after we leave. If not, We'll just continue on what we're doing. We may do some more tomorrow. So we'll catch you guys sometime later. Maybe later today. That sounds like yes. So we might get back on here after we're done. All right, guys. We'll see you in uh, a little while.